Centuries of industrialization and decades of globalization are giving way to a new connected world at an incredible speed. This is no doubt spurred on by technological advancements, including the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, robotics, and 3D printing. At the same time, today's connected world offers an even playing field where entrepreneurs have access to the same information, online tools, and apps, much of which is open source. With new shared co-working space and makerspace popping up everywhere at low cost, the breeding ground for startups has never been better. But wait a second. One of the things that has also changed in the process is the very concept of what a startup is. There is a common misconception that the terms startup and small business may be used interchangeably. But a startup is not a business, not just yet. Rather, a startup is an ongoing experiment, a current process. It is a project with a beginning and an end where you engage in developing a business model, a product or a service, and where you raise capital before commercializing your startup and transforming it into a real business. As stated by Stephen Blank, author of A Startup Owner's Manual, a startup is not a smaller version of a large company. It is a temporary organization used to search for a repeatable and scalable business model. In view of the fundamental differences between a startup and a business, you can imagine that tasks and activities, facility requirements, and the need for human resources are also fundamentally different. 